Ever since I was a kid, I've wanted to be somebody. Someone like Dream, someone like Technoblade, uh, well that's a bit of a stretch. But up to this point, I've only been using 1% of my power. The other 99% went to taxes. That being said, I started by ruling out the things I'm already good at. I know random trivia is one of them, I'm not ashamed to admit I've never missed a single Cam in 18 upload, and alright that's all. You might think, yo Alpha, just watch an Intel edits video and buy a $300 drag clicker, but just like there's more to life than money, there's more to Minecraft than PvP. To become a true god, you must master everything. Collect all the infinity stones. So, my goal in the next few weeks is to collect, uh, to master at least 5 skills, whether it be redstone, building, PvP, so maybe you can also learn a thing or two. Sun Tzu would say, appear weak when you are strong, and strong when you are weak. I've only practiced Bed Wars for 2 hours this week. So why pretend to be a Minecraft god when you can be one? The first skill everybody masters is speed bridging. We'll learn that first, but it's not enough. Bridging is kinda like solving a Rubik's Cube. Your accessories, the keyboard and mouse, are like the type of cube you're using. We all know the difference between a regular cube and a GAN cube. Having better specs might help me get faster, but it still doesn't solve my skill issue. I've been shift bridging my whole career, a fake method that yields poor results and low speed. So I spent an entire night on Bridgerland, grinding from dawn to dusk. Actually, it only took two hours to- All of the footage is linked in the description, I told you I'm a real one. But wait, I still hadn't figured out sideways and incline bridging. The incline bridge was relatively easy. I just needed to jump every few blocks and make sure I didn't fall. But speed bridging sideways was kind of tricky. After looking up a few videos and Hypixel forums, I got it eventually by lining up my crosser at the corner, then holding the S key at the same time. But despite all this, I was still pretty slow. But after a bit of practice, I got the hang of it. But Alpha, everybody knows how to speed bridge. That's why I'll learn God bridging, even if Hypixel says no. Regular god bridging doesn't work on bedwars anymore because they're trying to keep it fair for the newbies. It sounds a bit like communism. So Bedless Noob says, if you jump every few blocks while you god bridge, you can bypass the anti-cheat system. On a final note, the hackers don't get banned for scaffolding. Seems fair to me. But before even learning how to god bridge, I will god bridge across this island, however long it takes. That was a bad pun. Okay, before applying the electrical tape, let's do a CPS test to see if it really works. Here it is before taping. Okay, pretty bad. Let's apply the electrical tape. Yo, that's crazy. I'm getting like 300 CPS. Yeah, so this mouse doesn't register my clicks. Does our mouse even drag click? So it says it can't double click but apparently it can only drag click if it's broken. <laughs> you think that this is all over and this mouse isn't that great after all? These reddit posts agree too, so there goes 10 minutes of my life trying to learn how to god bridge. I now have two options. One, get a glorious model D wireless. Two, break the mouse. For secret third option, use an auto clicker, which will ban me from every server. I kinda wanna go with number three. <laughs> No suspicious activity is going on here, um... Wow, would you look at that? Maybe we couldn't find out how to god bridge, but we're not done. I'm gonna attempt something that I've never believed was possible, given that I'm a shorts YouTuber. Over the past three years, I've been rejected three times from getting Hypixel YouTube rank. Hypixel, you're not getting away this time. Let's move on to the next phase. Hey, follow my Instagram, and join my Discord. We'll begin with the easier version, 1.8. In order to get better, we need to fight toxic players, which also means clicking at the rate of developing chronic carpal tunnel. Without lifting my wrist, my CPS averages 9, which isn't horrible, but it isn't spectacular either. I managed to get decently better with some practice, although my classic win streak was still about 5 games. Let's see if using this girl skin is going to distract our opponents. Yeah, this, this is gonna be easy. I couldn't afford to lose two thirds of my matches to pros and only win a third to noobs and AFK players.
He's literally just standing still. He literally just let me win, bro. This is actually this wild. By far the closest game that happened was this one. The op starts by running to the side of the map. He locks in a combo, bringing me to zero hearts. Wait, zero hearts? Then I fight back on my last life and suddenly gain a heart. Wait, how was that pop? Am I hacking or something? And I comboed him to the bone. Sumo didn't work out too well though. After four hours of this game mode, I managed a win streak of drumroll please. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the f I know there's a method to this madness. It probably involves abusing mice to a point that violates APA's guidelines for ethical animal treatment. Through some replay footage, I can compare my POV to the other players. I want you to determine who did better. Not gonna lie, her movements were somewhat strange. I don't know, but in the end, I pretty much jumped off myself. I started by getting the hang of W tapping, sprint resetting, rotting, strafing, gooning. Okay, not the last one. Let's stay focused, brothers. Yeah, no, we're not stopping at 1.8. I'm facing my friend who is a PvP pro. His name is Frosty, and it's gonna involve a 1.8 match and a 1.20 match. And one will be a custom kit. I went on Legacy. Things will only get more challenging from here. In newer versions, the traditional W tapping methods that used to work no longer work. The timings are skewed, and there are more techniques to learn. Comboing, sprint hitting, crit hitting are the basics. And then there's crit punishing, stuns, jump resetting, hit selecting, deflections, reverse deflections. Apparently there's more to study in PvP than my freaking calculus textbook. But most of these upper level techniques are irrelevant to your average player, just as most calc formulas are pretty much useless to the average human being. This is my friend Frosty, and I said I'll beat him in a duel, best two out of three. Anyway, watch me do this cool jump bridge because I think it's cool. See, I may have lost at least 10 games in a row, but that's a part of my plan. If we want to win a single game against Frosty, we need an action plan. Of course, I practiced in Classic, Sword, Axe, Sumo. Can we make a comeback in our match? Let's get to training! If we want to effectuate our plan of defeating Frosty, we must improve significantly in Axe, Sword, and Sumo in a short period. Which means we need a personal trainer. Let's stop playing games and take this seriously. First, I DM my colleague Hot Slicer to see if he knew any trainers specializing in 1.9 PvP. He referred me to Theobald the Bird, who's a world class 1.9 PvPer, supposedly in the top 10. So I reached out to him via a formal email, and I began by flexing my subscriber count in an act of potential bribery to get his VIP services for free. Theo responded with his rates on Fiverr, which were actually pretty cheap considering his talents. We'll get back to Theo soon, but I do know someone else that could help. It's my friend, the name's SX. If there's one thing I've learned about SMP YouTubers, it's that they're all exceptionally skilled at PvP, including SX. My biggest mistake was starting with an excuse. I've only PvP'd for like, actually, a few months. I tried humbling him. I'd say you're like average, but I'm just below average. But he countered. You're like lagging all around for me. Unfortunately, I exhausted my apples. Jeez. I died again, again, and again. So I used to like basically just like dominate SMPs and stuff on my own free time. This man dominates SMPs in his free time. He's no ordinary person. But if I can't beat SX, I have no chance against Frosty. In Axe Mode, SX taught me how auto hits work. I'm using my shield so that I'm like letting you disable it so I can hit you back. And if they don't do anything, you can do that and just go behind them. If you've watched any videos by Dream, you've seen this technique being used. There's a counter to it though. Hold your shield up. I'm disabling your shield and hitting you, so I'm like double clicking. With the right timing, we can counter auto hits using stuns to knock the opponent off guard after disabling their shield. But talking is inferior to action. I was going to win, so let's get back to Theo. Well, he left me hanging, but that was actually a good thing. Cause it turns out, this man has his own custom PvP practice bot. Maybe we have a chance against Frosty. Oh yeah, so I got YouTube rank on PvP Legacy. I know it's not Hypixel, but at least people are asking for screenies. It's free publicity. As for Hypixel, I submitted a 5 paragraph argumentative essay. Fingers crossed that they don't reject me. Bruh. Everything has led up to this point. Frosty, we're about to have one of the most intense matches in our entire lives. Yeah, no, that's not even close to what happened. Ah, this fight's gonna take forever. <laughs> Wait, I think I might actually win. No way you got me a new combo. No. Out of all the classic duels, sumo duels, sky wars, the custom kit I made, we won't talk about it, axe, and sword duels, I won a total of one game. Why are you- 
Oh no. Oh no. wow, I won. But what really matters is all the friends we made along the way. So far, we've learned speed bridging, classic duels, and in 1.21, sword and axe. These are all techniques that any skill master would master, but that's only four of the five skills that we promised to learn. There must be something that I was potentially foreshadowing earlier in the video. It's parkour. Thankfully, I already have experience from Evbo's parkour civilization. Furthermore, we can practice the parkour duel game mode. Our training will be split into two parts. One, speedrunning Cam N18's map in record-breaking time. That's right, countless players have tried to attempt the course. One guy I've seen, New Kiddo, speedran the map in 30 minutes and 12 seconds, which is nowhere near the fastest run I've seen by Clement. He did the whole map in 4 minutes and 7 seconds. That's the score that we're trying to beat. Time to grind for the next few hours. There's also a longer version, but we're gonna stop at the short version, just for my sanity. Alright, let's set our spawn. This is the run that took me way too long. Feel free to slow the video down to 0.25 if you want to see the actual speed. There's ladder jumps, slime jumps, cobwebs, like, I still can't fathom how it's made by a 10 year old. Oh my god, we're so close. Hey, okay, we gotta compare what Clement had at this exact time. Wait, he's still at 1 minute 40. Did I just lose by 2 seconds? The parkour map itself isn't enough to prove ourselves worthy of being a parkour pro. We still haven't figured out how to do the hardest jump in Minecraft, the Triple Neo. This won't be easy. But in one section, there was a triple neo cobweb jump. Of course, I did a partial jump and waited out the rest, but that's lame. I'm learning the triple neo the right way. But Alpha, you haven't even mastered the single or double neo. I think you're jumping a bit far. Lucky for us, there are tutorials. It's supposed to be quite easy once we learn the setup, or not. But before long, we made our first ever triple neo. Oh my god, I'm actually him. And then I pulled it again and again and again. So there we go. I did everything I could in the time span I have, but there's a ton of other things I could learn. For example, the ladder MLG. Just take a look at this video of mine from three years ago. You must successfully do a ladder clutch and- I failed that clutch so badly, which is why I really want to do a part two, but we're gonna need your help. 1000 likes. I'm not begging or anything, but Hypixel, you better give me YouTube rank or I'm gonna show up at your doorstep.